That's it. I'm back. I'm not sick anymore. It's all clear. Woo, baby. Back to full action. You know what that means. It's meme time. It's meme time. Gather all your friends. It's meme time. It's meme time. It's meme time. The only cure for sadness. I am so happy because memes are going to save us from what's going on in the world right now. Not really, don't take that seriously, because <laughs> I don't want that to get out. But it's a nice distraction. With all the bullshit that's going on online and the amount of articles that I keep reading and the fact that it's in my face constantly, over and over again, the virus that should not be named. I. It's nice to just sit back and watch a few memes and look at a few things that were gonna make us giggle for like 20 minutes. Sickness update! Stop shitting myself! Sean's anus! Poop! <laughs> Oh, if only. I should have thought of that sooner. Except then I was afraid that it would build up inside me and percolate a little too long and I'd explode from the inside out. But <laughs> I like this. Oh my god. Jack may have wanted to burn the Baby Yoda meme in fire, but I saw it as a great fan art opportunity. This is the way, hoping it makes meme time. <laughs> Jesus. The Gab DeLorean. Actually, that just sounds like Evelyn has a DeLorean car. The man to Evelyn. <laughs> Still doesn't work. How long am I gonna have to see myself as Baby Yoda? Huh? There's so many of these out there right now, and I think they should all be put into a pit and burned. When you keep dying in the same spot in a game. Yes, gamers. This is very relatable. This might be the most relatable meme that someone has ever posted on the Jacksepticeye subreddit. I would laugh out loud if it wasn't so real. I can't wait for somebody to point out that I'm like touching my own face, even though everything online is telling you not to touch your face with your hands. Not when you're in self-isolation. <laughs> Dark Souls be like, Cuphead in a nutshell. Gamers, you get it. Nothing to see here, just a bunch of dots with no meaning, probably not even a good meme. Oh no, I legitimately can't see anything in this one. Oh no, my technique of going really far away doesn't work. What does it say? Stop this. This is cruel and unusual punishment. I hate these as well, because every time one of these is posted, nobody gives the answer in the comments either. Somebody said I can't read it. Oof. Target confirmed. Does this spell anything? I can't read it. Nothing at all, buddy. Nothing at all. There's something in there. And I want to know what it is. I can- I can kind of see where it's supposed to be, but the fact that I can't see it at all properly just really legitimizes the fact that I'm colorblind. Thanks for that. I love that. That's- I love this for me! Can I, like, trick it? I better not say anything like my penis is small or something, because I guarantee you, it's massive. Ghost, not terrible. Zombie, not terrible. Nuclear war, a little scary. The thought of Jack dying before me... That's the scariest thing? I don't know about you. I'd be pretty fucking scared of nuclear war. I'd be pretty scared of zombie apocalypses happening. Ghosts, not so much. You know, what can they do? Ooh, move my furniture? Not scary. <laughs> the other things you should be far more scared of than me dying before you. Reddit assemble. Top of the morning to ya, laddie. My name is... Jake Septicai. You didn't even get it right in the first four fucking sentences. Hell yeah, you on Reddit? No, I'm not. Oh. Get on Reddit, find this post, and upvote it. On what subreddit? It will be under r slash jacksepticeye. One more thing, what's that? Hi, Jack. Okay, that's all. Bye. <laughs> God damn it. Is this even real? Did you just get together with your friend? I never trust these ones. It's like those ones that you always see like the fake tweets or fake text messages that people say like, Oh, I got a text from my mom and it went like this. It's like you could just change the name of your friend to your mom and have a text conversation. I need the full context of this. If it's real, then that's awesome. If not, then I will find you. I will come to your house and I will take away your Jacksepticeye privileges. All right, in this household, in the Jacksepticeye house, this is very serious. Memes are nothing to be trifled with. They're nothing to be laughed and scoffed at. It's serial bizno over here. Welcome to the gang, kid. We've got Stealing Steve, Murdering Mike, and Paddy Fitzpatrick. What did Paddy Fitzpatrick do? He bites people's skulls. <laughs> Paddy Fitzpatrick needs to be nerfed in BitLife. He's way too strong. The amount of times I've sent hitmen after people and nothing happens to him. He lives a life. He's a millionaire now and he's remarried. His ex-wife is dead after he, you know, he didn't really murder her. You know what? If you're not watching the BitLife series, you're missing out on a really big, steep part of cultural history. I'm not going to give it to you all right now. Go watch the series right now, okay? I haven't uploaded in a while. 
You guys owe me. <laughs> Top comment. Is, is that the bite, bite of 87? 87? <laughs> Anyone in BitLife ignores Jack. Two seconds later, Hitman. Hey. <laughs> you need to talk to Patty. He's the best human in all of existence. St. Patrick's Day is very, very close. There's actually a, a shamrock challenge in BitLife right now. The developers put it up where it's like, have seven redheaded children and things like that. But then the last one is to watch Jack Septicai with a friend. It's very sweet of them. Killing your stepdad, killing your co-workers because they don't like you, killing a, killing a random person by biting his or her skull because it's your signature move. <laughs> it's not my signature move. It's Paddy's signature move. I would be hard pressed to find anybody that would not go down after being bitten in the skull. Because you, you're either weirded out by it, like, oh god, why is this fucking crazy person biting me in the skull? Or it's gonna kill you. Paddy's the kind of lad that doesn't go down easy, all right? Most people throw fists or kick you or like bite you in somewhere that's normal. Paddy's gonna bite your skull open. Shit, I gotta find all the stuff to eat. <laughs> find that dialogue. Jeez, I'm surprised it took this long to make one of these memes. Shit, I gotta find all the stuff to eat. <laughs> you need to end it off with the the Dark Souls, you died. Repost looks like a repost. I've seen this video one time. First seen here. Oh fucking god damn it. <laughs> you sons of bitches. I thought that this was a bot making up reposts. I hate this. I hate you. I don't. I love you. Please stay safe. No. No, no, no. No. I'm not. I'm No. We're not doing this. We're not doing Corona memes. Okay. We're not doing it. Stop. 2020 has been pretty terrible so far, but we're exactly 69 days in. Damn it. This meme is five days old. I missed it. Fuck. The 10th? The 10th of March is 69 days into the year? Oh, it's because we had a leap year. Shit. God damn it. We were so close, so close to greatness. I even said that meme wrong, didn't I? So I couldn't even get that right. God, I'm a mess. To be fair, I was pretty sick five days ago. Was I? Kinda, I was getting over it. I was, I was almost out of the woods, if you know what I mean. I went to the doctor and I got the all clear. Oh, fuck's sake. What does it even say? I don't know. This is ridiculous. Get out of here. I'm gonna break it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna figure this shit out with the power of my friend Photoshop. All right, let's stretch it out this way. It's making sense. It's meme time. It's meme time. And it just... Oh my god, what does it say? Gather all your friends? That's a G. I can't be arsed. I figured it out. Go fuck yourself. <laughs> I'm so aggressive. We're gonna close Photoshop. What's going on? Sean forgets to edit out a pee break once the fan base <laughs> a core memory. <laughs> oh man, isn't that amazing how one of the strongest memories people have of the channel is something that wasn't even intentional. Despite all the jokes I make, all the references, all the catchphrases, and all the times that I've hardcrafted and curated comedy for this channel, <laughs> The pee break is the thing that people probably remember the most. If that doesn't say a lot about society and internet culture, I don't know what does. Jack, I need you to watch this, please. Okay, I've seen a couple of these go around. I saw the Dr. Phil one where he sent someone to the ranch. This one says, I'm okay. Here we go. <laughs> I'm honk. <laughs> oh, God. That's good. That's very funny. Thank you. Robin, cut out all of that music. It's copyrighted, okay? Fucking TikTok. Get out of here with your copyrighted shit, all right? Also, you spelled it wrong. It's supposed to be Hyonk. I know you didn't make this meme and it's somebody else doing it, but Hyonk is the only one. Hyonk, Hyonk, I'm Goose. Whoa! <laughs> this one's called Mecha Sam. That really does look like a septic eye. Jesus. What is the re- Oh my god. Look at the amount of fucking circuit boards and- <laughs> electronic computing shit going on in this. What is this thing? Is this going to space or underwater? Or someone's backyard? I need to know. I'm so glad that the comments have the answer. I'm so glad that I can go here and really just get the stuff that I need. Either way, that's exactly what Sam would look like in real life. That's what you don't know. Inside Sam, there's actually just a lot of circuit boards and wiring going on. This is very nice to look at. Someone who knows how to braid hair did this. <laughs> Watch for rocks. 
<laughs> oh, that's so dumb. Oh, I love it. Just some good old happy, healthy, wholesome memes. That's excellent. Depression exists. Meme <laughs> There's some good memes since I've been away. You guys have been busy. You guys have been working up some stuff. Me after watching meme time. Old happiness. New happiness. <laughs> the memes, they do make me happy. I'm not gonna lie, every time, not even jokingly, <laughs> NGL fam, every time after I record one of these episodes, I'm legitimately happier. Just seeing the stuff that you guys make and the kind of inside humor that's been going on every, like, week since the last episode. It's just so fun. Her, what's meme time? What's PMA? Who's Jack guy? Me. Huh, interesting. I didn't know you hated living so much. <laughs> oh, I- my hitman fingers are doing a heckin' tingle. I will send someone to your house, all right? <laughs> if you're not liking, subscribing, and upvoting all the good shit on the Jack guy variety channel... Huh? You want it? You want these fingers to go to work? Ah! A person of culture in the comments, that's when you teach her about the word of Jack. See? No one's dumb for not knowing something. Somebody's dumb for not knowing it and not wanting to learn more. <laughs> the hitman that ran away with his money in BitLife, Hitman 1, Hitman 2, and Hitman 3. Oh, it's just a vicious cycle. It's a vicious circle in BitLife. Sooner or later, no matter who you are, no matter what you do, and no matter where you're going in life, sooner or later, I will send a hitman after you. It's- it's inevitable. When the captions said St. Patty's Day instead of St. Paddy's Day, my fucking hitman fingers are tingling. <laughs> this is a good example, or a good chance to be able to tell you guys, since St. Patrick's Day is probably tomorrow from this video. Have I predicted the future? It's Paddy! Two Ds instead of two Ts, alright? I know how much people love TTs, but- That's a good joke. <laughs> but it's- it's two Ds! Paddy! Not Patty! I know his name is Patrick, but this goes all the way back to the Irish Gaelic lands, where Patrick in Irish is Padraig, or Parig, with a D, and that's where Paddy comes from. Alright, get it into your fucking head, or I will send a hitman. And now, the moment everybody has been waiting for. Can I get a drum roll, please? It's time for the Jack Sept the Guy U2's giveaway, St. Patrick's Day extravaganza. Who's gonna win it? The big time score prize on the Jacksepticeye Variety Channel Extravaganza Time! I'll- I'll go get it. Last time I showed off the U2s. Jacksepticeye U2s. He's adorable. He's cute. He can come to your house and have fun if you want. But I said that we were gonna do a giveaway for somebody who made the best meme on the subreddit since the last time I posted that video and let's go through them, shall we? <laughs> You're gonna love my U2s. <laughs> Don't throw them out the window, though! I know Vince has a habit of throwing shit out through windows and being all cool and everything and slap chopping them. It's worthless. Forget about it. I have a slap chop. Do you think I could slap chop a- No. I shouldn't, right? No. Great use of the recurring themes here on Meme Time and Funniest Home Videos. Well done. When you put a lot of love and care making a meme, it gets downvoted. Aw, people downvoted you? Why? This is great! I downvote other people's memes so I have a better chance of winning a little figure. Literally everyone including Jack, you truly are the lowest scum in history. Don't do that! Yeah, I agree! That is such a shitty scummy thing to do. It's a fun little giveaway for everybody. Don't take it too fucking seriously. If you do that, then I don't want you on the Jacksepticeye Variety channel, okay? This is a lesson in life. Just because you don't like something or you can't have something does not mean you have to beat down something else. We can all have nice things. Oh, look at these! Holy shit! Oh my god, they work so well. Oh no, I have to make them all. Oh no! <laughs> this is so cute! Oh, Chase even has a Pokeball because I did a Pokemon Go video and it looked like Chase. Oh, that's so cute! The little Sam has a little mask as well. And Schneeplestein's holding a stethoscope. These are really cool! Oh no. <laughs> yes. Ah, yes. PewDiePie figurine? No. Inky, stinky, blinky. No, 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 no. No. Jacksepticeye U2s. Now that's cute, wholesome, good shit. I'm just joking. Felix's figurine was actually really cool as well. This is what I'm saying. You don't need to shit on something else to enjoy something else. That's not how the world works. Be nice. Hasn't ever made a meme before, or even used Reddit before. Jack releases the U2s competition. Me. So anyway, I started memeing. <laughs> 
Excellent. Welcome, by the way, to Reddit. I don't know if that's a good or a bad thing. I don't know if uh, subjecting people to Reddit in general is going to be a good thing for you. Um, just use Reddit responsibly. And the Jacksepticeye subreddit, at least we have fun and we look at memes. Whoa! Reposting my drawing because everyone kept downvoting it. I don't fucking do that. It's not how giveaways work, you scumbags. This is very cute. Neo Alex, have we seen some of your art before? I think so. That's awesome. God damn. I wish I could get my hair to look like that. Hair, can you do the thing? C can you- can you do the thing? Thank you. Using the image to create an original meme, turning it into the old Winnie the Pooh meme instead. God damn! He's got a little monocle and everything! Sam's got- <laughs> he's got a little eyebrow. Jeez, that's- that's well done. A, a person of- of taste and culture. Yes, quite. Very good. He protect, he attack, but most importantly, he jack. Most importantly right now, he back! Where are the videos, Jack? I don't know. Lost in a pit of despair and misery. That's why meme time had to be one of the first ones that we had when we came back. We could all use a little laugh right now. So in Jack's most recent video, I got so sick he challenged us to make a meme using the 3D model of his U2s. I immediately had an idea. What, what did you do? <laughs> yes! Oh, old meets new. What a good one. <laughs> PewDiePie and Marcia wants to battle. <laughs> the Yo-Yo Masters, no! How was I gonna defeat them? The Yo-Yo Masters, they just kept yoing. I wanna be a Yo-Yo Man, he cried. Make me a Yo-Yo Man. But the Yo-Yo Master did not answer. He just kept on yoing. No, oh, is this loss? It sure is. Remember that meme? Remember when memes were simpler? Sometimes, in my dreams, I still see cardboard Jacksepticeye somewhere out there. He lives. He doesn't. I completely shredded him. Poor tall cardboard Jack. He's life size. I am inevitable. And I am life size. <laughs> okay, you got me, all right? It's all a joke. This is just CG. This is the real Jacksepticeye height. Any of you who've met me in real life know that I'm tiny. Every time people meet me, it's all they can talk about. Oh god, you're so much smaller than I expected. You know what? I'm fun-sized. I'm- I'm pocket-sized for your convenience. This took lo way longer than it should have. You two's entry. <laughs> oh my god. You're challenged by Trainer Jack. Trainer Juk sent this fucking fish. Oh my god! Jack sent out dead me. Holy fuck! <laughs> Toxic smooch. <laughs> you don't know the way. <laughs> oh my god! You defeated Trainer Joke. Jesus Christ! How does this only have 1600 upvotes? Holy fuck, that was impeccable! Not only did you use my U2s, but you used some of the older U2s as well. And you referenced a bunch of memes. Well done. Well done. Oh my god, that's gonna be a hard one to beat. Ah, oh, the boys are back in town again. Look at them all, so cute. I should, I should make little masks for them. Put little masks on the little U2s. That'll be very cute. <laughs> the yonk takes what it wants. Put the jack in the... Rack? Well, somebody called me Jake earlier on, on Omegle, so put the Jake in the lake. Yonk yonk and meme. Here's my entry for Sean's challenge from the sick update video. I never post on Reddit, but I wanted one of these little bastards, so I'm gonna try. Let me in! Let me in! <laughs> Drop soon. Drops tomorrow. If you don't get the giveaway, you can still just buy one. <laughs> honk honk am goose sap the guy. No, he stole a little Sam. God damn it. The goo sooner or later the goose gets us all. The Sam in the Ram. Sam on the Clam. Sam with your ma'am. None of these really work. Rake in the lake is the best one. <laughs> Somebody had a similar meme. A cold and food poisoning would like to battle. Well, I bested those bastards, okay? First getting a cold, then merging it into food poisoning, then merging it into asthma? Come on! Never doubt the power of the Gaelic gladiator ever again. 
Sickness came to my body and I fucked it up when someone misspells McLaughlin. <laughs> you all- wait. <laughs> you misspelled misspells. Is that on purpose? Because if not, I'm deducing points, all right? I'm triggered. At least you got McLaughlin right, though, so the points go back up. Sean announces giveaway this subreddit. <laughs> There's dead memes in the crate. Well done. All right. I have made my decision. It's a hard decision to make because so many people made so many great memes, and I don't want to make people feel bad for not winning, so I apologize, but having one winner inevitably, inevitably means that other people can't be winners as well, and I'm sorry for that. Thank you for everyone who participated in it. Again, it was just a silly little idea we had, because normally whenever I release stuff, I never do any giveaways for it, and I also kind of feel bad about that, because I, I want to, like, give back. Um, every now and then. So this is our way of coming up with something fun to do to let somebody win some of these ones. We also had, uh, I need to pick a winner on Twitter as well because I said that if you retweeted the tweet that you'd be in a chance to win one too. So there was another winner going to be announced for that one on Twitter. And then this was another one. And the winner of the Jacksepticeye Reddit meme of the day U2's giveaway extravaganza is, drumroll, it's gotta be the sexy pizza with this incredible Pokemon edit. Not only did you reference, not only did you get a good chuckle out of me, and not only was it just really, really clever, but I gotta appreciate the time and effort that went into it as well, because I know how long this shit takes to make. So thank you for just putting in that level of quality into something like this. You went so above and beyond that I'm, I'm flattered, so it's gotta be you. Sexy pizza, give it up everybody! I'm sorry, again, I'm sorry to everybody else who participated in it. Hopefully you had fun anyway, and we got to look at some memes and have a laugh, and I'm sure you made somebody smile out there, so... That's the real win in my book. The Sexy Pizza, I'm DMing you on Reddit right now to uh, say that you are the winner. You are the winner of the Jacksepticeye U2's meme extravaganza. I loved your post. Let's get in touch about how to send it to you. There. So the sexy pizza, I hope you see this, and thank you again for your wonderful meme. But fear not, everybody, all of you memey, dreamy babies out there, those of you who entered and didn't win, or those of you who couldn't enter, or anything like that, we have one more giveaway, because, I don't know, I just want to have fun with this. We, we don't often do cute little things like this, so I wanted to make it a big deal and just kind of give back as much as I could, so we, we, there is another giveaway that you can enter. If you go to jack.u2s.com, you will be brought to this page where you can be in with a chance to win a U2s figure for yourself. So, go nuts, have fun with it, and hopefully a few more of you can win some of these little figures. And keep an eye out, because I might do a few more giveaways here and there as well for them, because they are limited, they're only available once. Uh, it's a one-time run of them. They come out on Paddy's Day. You can buy them then, tomorrow. But this has been really fun to do, so I want to just give back to you guys as much as I can. So there you have it. But that's gonna do it for me on this episode of Meme Time. Thank you, sweet baby meme dreamers out there for just being part of the channel and just having fun with whatever we do. I honestly, sincerely do appreciate it. As much as we joke around here and as much as I dick around with memes and with you guys and tell you to go fuck yourselves and everything. It's all part of the fun. It's all just jokes at the end of the day. And I really do appreciate it. Like, when I when I did get really sick, um, I, I, I physically couldn't record videos at first, because I, 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 I think I pretty much downplayed it, how sick I was. It's, it's the most sick I ever remember being. There was one time I was sick when I was like 10, I got a fever and hallucinated. That's probably the sickest. But this is the sickest I've been since then. So it's been like, <laughs> it's been like 20 years since I've gotten this sick and it really fucked me up. And I couldn't record videos, but as soon as I said that I couldn't and I was just taking time off, you guys were really understanding about it and really wanted me to just get better. And even after I, I got better, I've been better for like a few days now, I really just wanted to make sure that I was okay and made sure that I had the energy back. I'm still not back to 100% motivation and energy to just record videos. Because it's been nice just sitting back and, like, catching up and stuff and making sure that I don't burn myself out too badly. So, th that's been really nice and it's nice to know that people are there to support and just be part of the channel still anyway. And I can just go away for about a week 
and come back and you guys are still there stronger than ever so thank you for that you it seriously does mean a lot in this sort of job in this day and age and this internet culture where relevancy seems to be everything and you can fall off at the drop of a hat so i really do appreciate it thank you but that's going to be the end of the episode. I hope that this was fun to watch, and I hope you guys had a good time. Until the next one, that's going to be it for the U2's memes, so the subreddit can go back to its regularly scheduled programming, and I'll see you guys in the next one. I don't know what this outro was. I don't know why I turned to this voice. Weird.